Hey there, beautiful souls. It's Grace, back again with another Soulful Summit. I hope you're all doing well and ready to dive deep into today's topic. If you're new here, welcome to our little corner of the internet, where we explore the depths of our hearts and minds and strive to live our best lives. Today, we're going to talk about something very close to my heart, something that I believe is fundamental to nurturing and understanding our relationships, especially with our children. We're going to talk about love languages, but not just any love languages. We're going to explore the love languages of our children. You see, every child is unique, and they each have their own way of expressing and receiving love. Some children might express their love through words of affirmation, constantly telling you how much they love you. Others might show their love through acts of service, helping you with chores or making you a little surprise. Some children might prefer physical touch, always seeking hugs and cuddles. Others might express their love through quality time, wanting to spend every moment with you. And then there are those who express their love through gifts, always making or buying little presents for you. Understanding your child's love language is like unlocking a secret door to their heart. It allows you to communicate with them on a deeper level, to truly understand their needs and desires. It helps you to nurture their emotional growth and to build a strong, loving relationship with them. But how do you discover your child's love language? Well, it's all about observation and communication. Pay attention to how they express their love to you and to others. Ask them questions about how they feel loved and appreciated. And most importantly, show them love in all five languages. This will not only help you to discover their primary love language, but it will also teach them how to express love in different ways. Remember, our children are not just smaller versions of us. They are their own unique individuals with their own unique ways of expressing and receiving love. By understanding their love languages, we can help them to feel loved, appreciated, and understood. And isn't that what we all want for our children? Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more soulful discussions. Your support means the world to me and helps me to continue creating content like this. So, beautiful souls, I challenge you to take some time this week to observe and communicate with your children. Try to discover their love languages and see how it transforms your relationship with them. Remember, love is not just about saying the words. It's about showing it in the way that they understand and appreciate. Thank you so much for joining me today on this Soulful Summit. Until next time, keep exploring, keep growing, and keep loving. Peace out, beautiful souls.